This is Sonali of Rich Girl Network TV, coming to you from the 2019 Indian Film Festival of Los Angeles. We are so excited to be here and can't wait to chat with all the producers, directors, writers and actors. So stay tuned and keep watching Rich Girl Network TV. I'm doing the uh, TV panel, uh, it's called Breaking in Brown, and I've been writing for a TV show called The Red Line, which is a new show that airs on CBS April 28th, watch it, it's a limited event series, uh, executive produced by Ava DuVernay and Greg Berlanti, um, one of the stars, Vinny Chiver, is here, over there, um, it's super exciting because it's a show set in Chicago, one hour drama, one tragedy impacts three families' lives, um, so yeah, we're I'm doing speaking about writing for that show and also my own work that I'm also creating in in um, for TV as well. Number one advice you would give South Asian actors trying to take their career acting career to the next level? Well, I would say for for South Asian artists, so whether actor, writer, producer, I believe in making your own work. So I come from a very independent film space, and so there was no space when I made my first short film in 2012. And so what I said was, well, I guess I just need to make it. And for me, making art, doing comedy um, was a way of surviving and thriving. And so my recommendation is, whether it's on your cell phone, whether it's finding a group of collaborators, make your own work. Don't wait for somebody else to see you, to love you, to amplify your voice, amplify your own voice. Would you say you had any challenges as a female entertainment professional? Oh, oh, definitely. I mean, I identify as South Asian, female, queer, Muslim. I mean, I have all the things going on. So, yeah, there's challenges. And I think a lot of times people look at your work and think, oh, well, that's so niche. Especially, you know, five, six, seven years ago. Um, whereas the way I see it and the way I think we all need to see creating work is it's relatable. You you tell a story. Every story is relatable. You just have to be willing to share it. Where can we find you on Instagram? What's your handle? Uh, my handle is the Foz. Uh, it's my Instagram and my Twitter. T H E F A W Z. I'm there. I also want to do a shout out to Monica Lamb, who designed my outfit. Uh, it's beautiful. Yeah, she made all the work, and she's amazing. So, Monica, thank you so much. So, as you the director, it. what inspired you to take on? On this project and uh, what was your favorite part in direct making the film as a director uh, this story was very important to me it is about uh, the habitos of Kashmir which is a very painful uh, story about those women who lost and who, whose husband have disappeared in uh, Kashmir in last 30 years and they, they are not traceable so when I read about this story uh, I found uh, I need to make a film about it and I'm happy that uh, throughout the world and many festivals the film has been received very well. How has it been promoting the film in LA versus other cities around the world? Oh, I'm really looking forward to a screen here and uh, I hope uh, the reception will be the same as uh, other parts of the world like Busan, Rotterdam and uh, Europe uh, love the film. I hope the people will love here. The, as Hopefully even more, right? Because this is Hollywood, right? You're the capital of the entertainment business. <laughs> yeah, where can we find the film on social media? What's the film's website, the Instagram, anything you can tell us? Yeah, uh, it's on Facebook, social media. Just Google what, Widow of Silence and probably you'll get all the details. There are many interviews, many articles on the movie and uh, that way you can find it out. We'll be sure to check it out. Oh, please tell me, as the producer of this film star featuring starring Tabu, how was it working with her and investing the film on, from a financial perspective? See, I'm a Tabu fanboy. So, for me it was, like initially, it was hard to believe because I have loved all her films, you know. And believe ki final, I'm doing a film with her. So, you know, it was like we were always in awe of her. <laughs> so Shiram and me, we have known each other and are friends for the last 21 years. Uh, this is our second outing together. Earlier, we had done Johnny Gaddar together. How, how has it been promoting the film in LA? Uh, I think uh, people sent us when it was released in uh, US. Pictures fourth week on a weekday and the theater was houseful. So that shows how much love and affection the film has received all over the world apart from India.
Um, I'm not currently, I'm not a part of the films this year, but I'm an Indian actor. I was also a former Miss India. So um, I recently set up base here. So I'm here supporting my friends, a lot of, uh, you know, actors, producers, uh, especially like tonight's film. I'm a great fan of the director, uh, Sri Ram Raghavan. So I'm just supporting the festival and all the films and just Indian cinema in general. Where in India did you do your work? Mumbai? Mumbai. I was in Mumbai, yes. And how do, how do you like LA compared to Mumbai? Oh my god, like, come on. <laughs> the weather's amazing and no matter how much you complain about traffic, it's still not as bad as Mumbai. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, both places are amazing. Both places, um, you know, uh, produce great cinema. So I mean, um, I, I do travel back and forth a lot. And, and I think I, I love both places. But yes, I mean, LA, the weather is much better. <laughs> I prefer that. Um, where can we find you on Instagram? What's your handle? Um, it's I Manasvi. I'll spell it out. I for India, M for Mother, A for America, N for Nancy, A for America, S for School, B for Victor, I for India. So I Manasvi. Um, so things were kind of easy for me in India because I started, I, I won Miss India pageant, so it kind of give, gave me instant recognition. Um, so things were kind of easy for me to get into the modeling, acting world in India. Um, and I've just moved here and for some, I mean, I think this is a great time. Bollywood is, uh, Hollywood is really embracing diversity. So even the, the, the response that I get here is really good, you know. Um, I mean, um, this is the time for women of color, South Asian women. So I think, I think I'm, I'm in a good space.